So we've tested our device, we've made all this stuff, and now we need to publish this to share it with friends. So in Lens Studio with my project open, I'm gonna go to Publish Lens, right up top here. I'll click on that, let's wait a minute. Um, you have to be signed into your account. So make sure that you are signed in to your um, Lens Studio account or your Snapchat account. Under Lens Tags, we can actually add some tags. I'm gonna tag it um, the, let's see, um, can only numbers and letters. I'm gonna name it, I'm gonna tag it, well, let's go um, digital art. Oh, so we have to do this one thing at a time. Sorry, digital, done, add tags, art. Oh, sorry, hit return, digital, hit return, sideshow, hit return, um, horrifying, <laughs> hit return. Okay, I'm gonna click done. And now, creepy clown, I'll click submit, and it is going to upload this. And what it needs to do is it will upload it and there we go, creepy clown, it's in review. It wants to make sure that um, you don't have anything super offensive or against their policies. Um, there's, it's very likely if I had my, if I uploaded my dad face one, it would not accept the dad face because it is actually using somebody else's actual face and that kind of starts to go against their policy with privacy and stuff. So it's gonna be in review for a little bit, but if we click on here, you'll see there's this lens ID. Once this is no longer in review, we will actually be able to download a snap code for it. And I can show you this on a different one here. I have, it will give us something like this, an actual snap code. This is the icon I put up for it. And this is the ID. Um, and I'll go ahead and pause this. And once it's no longer in review, I'll show you where to go from there. Okay, that review actually happened pretty quick. Um, it usually takes, it usually doesn't take more than an hour. This one took, like three minutes, which is really good. So now you can see creepy clown and we get the status of live and you can share it by clicking sharing. You can actually get the snap code and you can link it to, uh, you can copy that link. I'll go to my Google Chrome and just command V, paste that link in there. And if you look, boom, there's my snap code and it gives us little instruction of how to use it. Results. Oh, sorry. My phone is actually trying to listen to me. Hey, that's life. So now to do this, let's go ahead and open up the other. Boop, 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 boop. I'm gonna pull this over here and you can see it and we can scan it from any of these spots. So I'm gonna X this out and I'm just gonna scan it from my lenses. Let me go ahead and turn on the other camera. Ready for picture in picture? Picture in picture to commence now. Boom, look at that, we is recording. We is recording. I'm gonna go to Snapchat, open that bad boy up. And I'm going to, let's go ahead and take this camera and I'm gonna go over, let's switch, whoops. I gotta switch this camera view again from front facing to the other camera. And now I can scan an actual snap, the Snapchat code Hold it up there and do the same as we did to pair the device. Just hold my thumb on it for, or hold my finger on it for a second. Come on. And it finds it. And look at that. Creepy clown unlocked for 48 hours. Let's unlock it. Let's hold on. Oh, and there we go. Creepy clown, creepy clown. I'm a creepy, creepy clown. And it's live and anyone can use it and it's super fun and all of that jazz. Yay! I don't like this one bit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, so now you've actually seen um, how to do this. You can create lenses of your own. And in the next video, I'm just gonna kind of tell you about the different templates very briefly and their learning resources. Thanks.